Xiaowan is not small. Witness the world miracle of Xiaowan Hydropower Station. In Wuliang Mountain on the Lantsong River. A hyperbolic arch dam nearly 300 meters high and nearly 900 meters long spans both sides of the bank, lifting up high gorges and deep valleys and embracing the rushing river. The huge water energy accumulated in the high dam is converted into powerful current and sent to all directions. This is China's Xiaowan Hydropower Station, a hydropower station with the world's tallest arch dam, 100 meters higher than the Three Gorges Dam. It is the third largest hydropower station in China in terms of installed capacity. There is a popular saying in China's hydropower station circles, the Three Gorges is the largest, and Xiaowan is the most difficult. Although Xiaowan means small bay in Chinese, its project volume is not small at all. With an arch dam as high as a mountain, strong water pressure, and complex geological environment, Xiaowan Power Station is considered the most difficult hydropower station in the world, both in terms of engineering construction and operation and maintenance. However, the people of Xiaowan are not afraid of hardships and rise to the challenge. In this video, let us learn more about it. China's hydropower development and power transmission from west to east, with the Lantsong River as the backbone. Xiaowan is the leader in hydropower development on the Lantsong River. The Lantsong Mekong River is an important cross border river in Southeast Asia. It has a deep and narrow valley, a huge altitude difference, and rich water energy resources. It is estimated that the exploitable water energy resources of the Lantsong River in China reach approximately 32 million kilowatts, of which 15 cascade power stations are planned in Yunnan province with a total installed capacity of 25.28 million kilowatts, equivalent to 1.43 gorges power stations. Utilizing abundant water energy resources, Xiaowan Power Station has a total installed capacity of 4.2 million kilowatts and a designed multi-year average power generation capacity of 19 billion kilowatt hours. The contribution of Xiaowan Power Station is not only in generating electricity. The reservoir storage capacity of 14.9 billion cubic meters enables Xiaowan Power Station to regulate water volume for many years. This not only increases the guaranteed output of downstream Manwan, Dekaishan and Jinghong Power Stations by about 1.1 million kilowatts, which is equivalent to building a new million kilowatt peak shaving power station. It also makes it possible to scientifically regulate the water volume in downstream internal and external rivers, which is helpful for shipping, farmland irrigation, and sediment containment. Huaneng Group has specially established the Lantsong River Company to coordinate the development construction and operation of hydropower in the entire basin of the river. In a complex geological environment, the Xiaowan Power Station project has overcome many most difficulties by constructing the world's first 300-meter concrete double-curved arch dam and using high head, large capacity, large amplitude, and high-parameter underground turbine generators. It has created a series of new records and standards for world hydropower. The world's highest slope excavation supports the deep valley in the hub area of the power station, and the slope excavation height exceeds 700 meters. There is no precedent in the history of world engineering. Coupled with the complex geological and terrain conditions, once the excavation is disturbed, it is likely to face endless collapse. No matter how small a stone is dropped from a height of 700 meters, its gravity acceleration will make it equivalent to a heavy bomb. It is conceivable that the engineering support requirements are high. 
The world's rare high-strength concrete is poured into the Xiaowan Dam, with a total concrete volume of 8.65 million cubic meters. It takes more than four years to complete all the pouring in a narrow area, with a maximum annual pouring intensity of nearly 2.6 million cubic meters. At the same time, it also faces huge temperature control and crack prevention problems. Due to the high mountains and steep slopes and lack of space, construction had to be carried out in caves. The Xiaowan project is a very large underground project, with a total of 88 underground caverns covering a total length of 17 kilometers in a mountain area of less than 0.3 square kilometers. Construction hazards under extremely complex conditions are inevitable. In early 2004, during the spring festival when families were getting together, the number two ridge on the left bank of the Xiaowan project was in danger of creeping and deforming. Once the mountain collapses, four million cubic meters of earth and rock will form a nearly 200 meter high dam in the Lonsong River, turning the upper reaches of Xiaowan into a huge barrier lake. This is tantamount to a catastrophe. However, if engineering rescue is carried out, not only is the success or failure unpredictable, but there are also great risks such as construction safety. After expert consultation and scientific demonstration, Huaneng Langkangjiang Company made a decisive decision to anchor the slope at all costs. After that, it took seven months for construction teams with thousands of people and hundreds of machinery and equipment to work day and night to finally eliminate the danger and stabilize the mountain before the rainy season. During the 10 years of arduous construction, tens of thousands of builders braved the wind and rain, made silent contributions, and overcame one problem after another and passed through one difficulty after another. It takes 10 years to sharpen a sword. On-site preparations began in 1999 and construction officially started in 2002. The first unit was put into operation in 2009 and the last unit was put into operation in 2010. The builders of Xiaowan not only completed the world's most difficult hydropower project, but also shortened the construction period by two years compared with the planned construction period. Unit 3 of Xiaowan Power Station was named as the landmark unit of Huaneng Group's installed capacity, exceeding 100 million kilowatts, and Unit 4 was named as the landmark unit of National Hydropower installed capacity exceeding 200 million kilowatts. The Lonsong River Basin has beautiful mountains and clear waters. Xiaowan Power Station has highlighted the green theme since the beginning of its construction, adhering to protection during development and development during protection, and has implemented a number of environmental protection projects to minimize the impact of development on the ecological environment. In order to reduce water and soil erosion, Xiaowan Power Station adheres to the principle of greening wherever it is excavated and protection wherever waste is placed during construction. Xiaowan Power Station has completed a total of 1.5686 million square meters of greening and 1.4251 million square meters of construction site renovation. The investment in water and soil conservation of the entire Xiaowan power station reached 190 million yuan, which was a full 100 million yuan more than the estimated investment. In order to reduce the disturbance to the biological chain in the basin, Xiaowan power station implemented the transplantation and protection work of the national level. Protected rare wild plants Terminalia tenuifolia and red tune in the reservoir submerged area. The Yongping Jingguang Temple Nature Reserve involved in the Xiaowan Hydropower Station Reservoir area will be set up as a wildlife refuge 
and a green peacock protection site and a macaque sanctuary will be established. The permanent camp sewage treatment and reuse project now in operation has brought the sewage treatment rate of the permanent camp to 100%. Xiaowan Power Station is one of the 13 pilot units in the country that implements environmental protection supervision. The estimated feasibility study design budget slash static investment for environmental protection of the project is 103 million yuan, but the actual investment in environmental protection and water conservation has exceeded 270 million yuan. Xiaowan Hydropower Station has created the highest per capita production efficiency in China's hydropower industry. Such a large hydropower station has only 214 employees, and the per capita installed capacity reaches 21,000 kilowatts. In traditional hydropower stations, an installed capacity of 4.2 million kilowatts requires at least 6 to 700 people to maintain it. Where does efficiency come from? For a long time, the power industry has followed a management model of subdivided majors, with separate departments for electrical, mechanical, communications, maintenance and other majors. The department must be divided into multiple professional teams. There are problems such as loose professional connection, cumbersome job settings and a large organization. Employee development is also limited by monotonous and repetitive work. Xiaowan Power Station boldly innovated the operation and maintenance management model. In accordance with the principle of one post with multiple responsibilities, one specialty with multiple abilities, it merged the functions of multiple traditional production and operation departments and established an operation and maintenance department. The traditional segmented professional model has also been changed in the setting of employee positions. Although operation and maintenance integration can improve efficiency, it also puts forward higher requirements for operation management and personnel quality. In order to better hone the team, the power plant makes full use of equipment debugging and unit maintenance time to allow new employees to practice boldly and improve their ability to solve practical problems. Every newcomer who comes to Xiaowan will be assigned a master to provide one-on-one -on -one guidance. The young master leads the younger little apprentice, not only imparting technical experience, but also providing psychological counseling to shorten the newcomer's adaptation period to the environment as much as possible. Countless efforts around the clock ensure the efficient and high-quality operation of the power station. It only took less than 11 months from the first unit to be put into operation to the completion of all six units, all of which achieved a successful startup, a successful test, and a successful grid-connected operation, setting a new record for the installation of similar units in China. All six units achieved continuous safe and stable operation for 180 days without planned outages, setting a new record for large hydropower plants in the country. Xiaowan Hydropower Station, across the Lonsong River, connects two counties in Yunnan province, Fengqing and Nanjian. The power station is located in two Xiaowan towns, one is Xiaowan town in Fengqing and the other is Xiaowanding town in Nanjian. In the past, there were few mountains and highlands, traffic was blocked, production was backward, and life was difficult. A power station embodying modern technology and civilization suddenly came to a remote and backward ethnic minority, mountainous area. It brought not only amazement to the local people, but also new trends and opportunities. Driven by project construction, villagers who lacked awareness of commodity economy began to start businesses and develop industries. 
A large number of shops, restaurants, and transportation fleets have emerged in Ziawanding town, and traditional mountainous agricultural towns have developed into power station logistics service bases. How to develop harmoniously with a location is a common problem faced by hydropower companies around the world. Since the start of the project, Huaneng Xiaowan Power Station has given full play to the radiating and leading role of large enterprises, actively fulfilled the social responsibilities of state-owned enterprises, opened up various channels to help local people get rid of poverty and become rich, and supported local economic and social development. The Xiaowan Hydropower Station Reservoir Immigration involves 42,547 people from three prefectures and cities, and eight counties and districts in Dalibai Autonomous Prefecture, Linsong City, and Baoshan City in Yunnan Province. During the process of land acquisition and resettlement, Huaneng continued to increase budget estimates in accordance with the principle of relying on the high rather than on the low as relevant policies of China and Yunnan were adjusted. The original 2.55 billion yuan approved by the state was adjusted to 10.26 billion yuan, an increase of three times. Backed by the big tree of Xiaowan Power Station, the economic aggregate of Xiaowanding Town in Nanjian County jumped from the second to last in the county to the first in the county. Across the river, Xiaowan Town in Fengqing County is no less impressive. Its fiscal revenue and per capita annual income of farmers have more than doubled in four years. Energy comes from water, and tolerance means greatness. Such slogans can be seen everywhere at Xiaowan Power Station. With their enterprising spirit and broad mind, the employees of Xiaowan Power Station created a new record in the history of hydropower in China and promoted local economic and social development. Xiaowan is not small. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.